A big part of my art practice is painting murals and I get a lot of questions about these. So I thought today I would go over some of my favorite murals that I've painted so far. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie Snow and I work under my artist name 4100. At this stage I've painted quite a few murals, 40 something? I have to go check, but I've pulled out 10 here to share with you. I'm gonna start with my favorite mural. And so this was a commission in New Zealand, five murals over six weeks. So it took me about a week for each mural and then I had that week of buffer time because you never know what comes up or goes wrong. They flew me over from Canada, which was really awesome. This was for Westfield Newmarket in New Zealand, which is the biggest shopping mall in Australasia. It's super high end and beautiful. Ambush Gallery in Australia commissioned me to do it on the behalf of Westfield. So check out Ambush Gallery as well. The first four I did on these wooden boards. So because the mall was still in construction, it was quite interesting. They like set me up in different rooms and they nailed the wooden boards to the wall and then I would go in and paint one and then go to a new room because that area would start to be built do another one do another one and then the final one was my biggest mural out of that commission so it was 98 feet which is 30 meters long and that was on um, a long corridor up at the rooftop bar oh, it was just an incredible experience all around and I'm definitely hoping to do more projects with them in the future and other projects of that size and scale The second mural I'm going to share with you was actually my first mural ever. It's definitely different to my style now, but my style is always evolving and each part is special and so yeah, I had to share it with you. The third mural I'm going to show you was the first commercial mural I ever did. So again, my style has evolved a lot since here, but it's really nice to look back on the journey. This is at Blackie's Cafe in Fongmata, New Zealand, so on the Coromandel. It was really fun. I grew up in Auckland, but spent a lot of time at Fongmata at our family beach house. We went to Blackie's a lot, so I was really excited to reach out to them, and it all happened. It was fun. The fourth piece is the Belvedere Mandala. So this is a really special mural that I did in our home. Filmed my proper first time lapse of this. The fifth mural I'm going to share with you is the one that I did in Hawaii. I was commissioned to do a piece for Afterglow Yoga. I had an amazing time meeting with the owners and I did yoga with them and then painted this mural and it was a really beautiful part of the trip. The sixth mural was for La Villa, which is a hairdressing salon in Wellington, New Zealand. I had a really beautiful relationship with Crystal, the owner, and so this is something that we came up with down the line. This one required scaffolding, and it was the first mural that I've ever done that needed scaffolding, so it's always fun when those like milestones happen. And I was painting in white too, so they had like a, it's almost like a dark grey with brown earthy tones in it and so the white really popped it as soon as you walk into the building which is this beautiful old building it's right there in the center so yeah it was it was awesome painting for them it's probably actually one of my favorite murals i'm just really pleased with how it turned out the next mural is also a white mandala so this was on the south island of new zealand in a private home um, and it was in their little yoga room area, so that was pretty cool. It had yoga mats and bean bags, or it was a going to, so it was fun to be a part of that. Number eight, this one I have mixed feelings about, but it was epic. The painting part of that. This one, it was on plywood and I got to free flow. If you have listened to some of the podcasts I've been on, I've explained the story behind this, or maybe I'll make a video on YouTube eventually, but I learned a lot of lessons from this experience. 
and we'll move on. Number nine is the One Universe mural. So I painted this mural in the five days leading up to my first solo exhibition in the Potoki Patterson Art Gallery in Wellington, New Zealand. And if you actually go back through my YouTube, I have a video of time lapse and the whole thing. Really love the artwork and I actually turned it into limited edition prints. Which is similar to the next mural and the final mural that I'm gonna share with you, which is called Global Connection. I could hear George coming down the hallway, so he's going to join us for this final mural. Global Connection is the latest mural that I've done. I did it a couple of months ago. It was part of the Tangier Seed Seawalls International Mural Festival of their home series. So there were over 800 artists. It was epic, like having the freedom and the time and no constraints to create something massive and free flowing. And yeah, really pleased with it. And this one is also available as a limited edition print. I paint my murals with mural pens, which is my own brand of paint pens. I designed them to have the perfect flow on walls, wood, and canvas. I've tried lots of the different paint pens out in the market and they're great, but I wanted something even better. So definitely try them if you're interested. You can buy them on my website or www.muralpens.com. I'll put the links down below. That is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really fun reflecting on what you've done in the past and it helps you Think about what you'd like to do in the future too. So I'll definitely share my upcoming murals with you as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.